be useful. Yeah, deliver value first. For me, the reason it's in a 48 inch frame hanging on the wall across from my desk and on my hat and my t-shirt, it's simple. It's the standard. If I can continually strive to show up without any sense of entitlement and consistently deliver some value first, well then, I believe good things are more likely to happen. Put that coffee down. Creators are leaders. Be careful what kind of leaders you're producing here. Helen, we're both in sales. Let me tell you why I suck as a salesman. They realized that to be in power, you didn't need guns or money or even numbers. You just needed the will to do what the other guy wouldn't. I'm not leaving. The show goes on. Well, hello there, friend. Welcome back to the Construction Leadership Podcast. I am your host, Bradley Hartman. Now, before we jump into today's episode, I wanted to give a quick plug to our OSR Academy, our Outside Sales Rep Academy, which is all about developing well-trained, helpful salespeople in the construction industry that deliver value first. Now, several years ago when we started building the OSR Academy, which took us about 18 months to develop, the main thing we heard was, well, in our industry, here's how we train our salespeople. We get someone young and we say, well, there's the truck. Here's your gas card. Here's a laptop and now go get her done. And then we're surprised when these people are not helping you and the people that they are trying to sell to find them annoying And they just continually just ask to just check in or pick their brains. We have not trained them accordingly. So that is why we built the OSR Academy. So our salespeople, when they do ask for valuable time of people who are always struggling to get more time on the schedule, they have a plan, they are articulate, they know how they're better or different, and ultimately they prove more useful. Now I could ramble on for quite some time but all the stuff that we did to try to make it great. But here is a quote from Mr. Pat Clancy, who's a vice president in New York with William B. Morse Lumber Company. He said, there's not another sales training program in the country that even comes close to teaching such a well-rounded curriculum. Thank you, Pat. And that is by design. We surveyed everything that was in our industry from current sales training and outside the industry and said, okay, What do we need to do to reverse engineer the most comprehensive, most immediately applicable program out there? And here's a quote from someone who's in the program right now. This is from Derek Santos, who's an outside sales rep for Koopman Lumber in Boston. He said, the OSR Academy gives everyone a different perspective to sales. Instead of just taking orders, I find myself working with customers and finding ways to add value. That is exactly what we're trying to do. So we are opening up registration starting next week. And if you know of anyone either that you work with or maybe who is interrupting you for your time and you're on the other side as a buyer, as a GC or a remodeler, you can say, here is a way to methodically learn how the best salespeople sell. Our tagline is, it's your personal LBM farm system to develop your next sales MVP. So when you're watching baseball, you're seeing highlights, or you're going to a game this summer, that's exactly what we are trying to do here. Methodically, systematically, online, offline, in person, virtually help people over 12 months be better at their craft of selling. Just like we do for baseball players, they go through A and then double A and triple A, right? They're getting different coaching all the way until they reach the major leagues when they are ready to make an impact and make sure you understand why you're paying, you know, $40 or a hundred bucks or whatever the hell we're paying to go to a baseball game these days. All right. That is the OSR Academy. If you want to learn more about it, you can just Google OSR Academy. You can go to bradleyhartmanandco.com. Right at the top, there's a banner. You can click on that. We made it easy to find. So now let's jump in to today's episode, which is titled The Alaskan Origins of the Battle Cry, You Are Owed Nothing. Deliver value first. Seven words, two sentences. You are owed nothing, deliver 
value first. It's a linguistic Rorschach test, like the ambiguous blobs of ink that psychologists present to patients to uncover and understand their underlying thoughts, feelings, and perceptions. There's no right answer to a Rorschach test. Everybody sees something different. You are owed nothing. Deliver value first. The 62-year-old general manager from Tulsa, he told me, I love that tagline. You've pinpointed exactly what kids these days must understand. They're entitled to nothing. Here's what the 21-year-old intern project engineer from Columbus, Ohio, told me. Yeah, it's a great message for the managers recruiting us. They need to make time for us. Expecting us to just figure it out and then yelling at us when it's not done to their satisfaction? That's the reason young people keep quitting. Or here's what a 43-year-old purchasing manager in Seattle told me. Yes, exactly. Salespeople in construction need to understand I don't owe them anything. Just because you emailed me doesn't mean I need to respond. I'm busy. Just because you leave a four-minute voicemail doesn't require me to call you back. And I'm sure as hell not obligated to accept your LinkedIn request. Get over yourself. Be useful. Deliver value first. Be useful. Yeah, deliver value first. Sure, I say. To it all. Yes. For me, the reason it's in a 48-inch frame hanging on the wall across from my desk and on my hat and my t-shirt, it's simple. It's the standard. If I can continually strive to show up without any sense of entitlement and consistently deliver some value first, well then, I believe good things are more likely to happen. Now, if I can instill this in my children through sheer repetition and ubiquity, well, all the better for their lives too. My 17-year-old son recently said, oh, you want me to mow the lawn, dad? Well, let's see. Have you delivered value first today? So naturally, I responded by snatching the Boston cream donut from his lips and I gave it to his younger brother. You are owed nothing, deliver value first. So I'm often asked, where did that mantra come from? The answer, Alaska. Nearly a decade ago, I was leading a sales workshop in Anchorage. I was told it's beautiful there, but I was bathed in darkness for the duration of my trip. I'll have to return when the sun does. This particular segment of the workshop was devoted to sales reps sharing their most memorable customer interactions and the insights they extracted from them. So I asked, who's got a great story they're willing to share with the group? A hand shot up from the left side of the room. A sales pro in his early 30s stood up. Oh, baby, I got a doozy. You could tell this guy was a good salesperson because he just wandered up right to the front and took the microphone from me. This story was from early in his sales career. He was earning a small builder's confidence. The builder's business grew steadily and their relationship deepened. Trust, loyalty, and mutually beneficial collaboration accumulated over time. More and more product categories became the responsibility of the sales rep. Then one day, the sales rep surfaced on a new build, unannounced, and bile, it leapt from his throat. He slammed his truck into park, seething at what stood before him, a Denali-sized pile of his competitor's material. As his narrow gaze swept across the acre parcel like a lighthouse beam, it got worse. Every few feet illuminated more and more of his competitor's logo. The mental tally of his lost commissions ballooned into five figures. The young rep stomped right up to the builder. Interrupting a conversation with the excavator, the sales rep tapped the owner on the shoulder and proceeded to deliver a piece of his mind. The verb betrayed was hurled. Bystanders heard the phrase stabbed in the back. The 50-something home builder, he let the young man vent. Then he said, are you done yet, son? Yeah, I guess so, the rep said. Good, because it's my turn now. I appreciate you and your company. I understand what you can and cannot do to help me grow my business. Yes, I chose to buy from someone else and I understand you're upset. But this, this ain't about you. I'm the customer, so never ever forget this. You are owed nothing. You got that? 
Now, this sales rep told the story so well. When he was done, you could hear a pin drop in this place. Everybody in the workshop was silent. Except for me. You are owed nothing. Deliver value first. I mumbled out loud without realizing I'd said anything at all. The young Alaskan salesman, he turned to me. He extended his index finger and said, Hey now, that's good stuff right there. You should trademark that, bro. You are owed nothing. Deliver value first. The seven words reverberated like a two by four across my face. It clearly resonated with the young Alaskan salesman as well. I made a mental note to follow his advice. I would trademark it. Now, I had always known that deliver value first was right, but trite. Everybody says that. Certainly nothing new. However, you pair it with this blunt reminder from the builder in the sales rep's oh-so-memorable story, and it instantly provided me with a mantra, a battle cry I could recite to help me keep my own head on straight. Because that's what construction is. It's a battle. Hell, that's what life is. You gotta fight to build the life you want. And everyone is fighting their own battle every day. You are owed nothing. Deliver value first. Now, fast forward eight years, and we've shared this little two-liner with little restraint. It's been printed on thousands of books and workbooks, embroidered on hundreds of hats, tees, backpacks, and pennants. It's been engraved on Yeti mugs, wooden dice, and at least one set of cornhole boards. I've repeated it at the end of more than 400 episodes of this very Construction Leadership Podcast. So with all that mileage, we figured it was time for a refresh. We worked with this really talented graphic designer named Blake Barnes out of Memphis, Tennessee, to help us update it. And if it resonates strongly enough with you, we have limited quantities of new hats and t-shirts available for purchase for you, your team, and your best customers. More importantly, this battle cry is the foundation of the OSR Academy, our 12-month blended learning LBM-specific sales development program. Our students learned how to stand out from all the other untrained or poorly trained salespeople that distract construction pros from their craft. How? By delivering value first. The OSR Academy is designed per the exact specifications of some of the country's best LBM firms. Furthermore, as a former builder and purchasing manager myself, the OSR Academy methodically develops the type of salesperson that made my job in procurement easy. Sales pros that I willingly paid higher margins for, why? Because they were worth it. Students in the OSR Academy learn from LBM industry expert trainers, active OSR all-stars from all around the country, and, I think most importantly, home building and commercial construction executives who suffer daily from poor salesmanship. If you are interested in learning more about how the OSR Academy can help develop your next generation of sales leaders, visit osracademy.com. As for everyone else, we will continue to repeat it. I will continue to live by it. And I will do everything I can to help my two boys do the same. So as always, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed learning just a little bit of the context about how we close every single one of our Construction Leadership Podcast episodes with this very line. You, my friend, are owed nothing. Deliver value first. Make it a great week.